Trucker Real Deal checking in with y'all on this lovely fine day. I am on my Freightliner Classic, Big Red, aka Big Red. I uh, had to change out my blower motor when I got the truck. It was not working. So, I got my multimeter and I checked and I made sure I was getting power through here as I was the voltage, you know, very, you know, very, depending on which speed the, um, at which speed the knob was turned on so that verified to me that my resistor up here was working perfectly fine so that's one less thing i have to worry about but now that i got that taken care of i'm going to now excuse these kids in the background they're just playing enjoying themselves so now that i got that taken care of now i'm gonna go ahead now and put it back together but i just want to show you guys it is three these torx type bolts you do three those three right there after that you have a cover which is let me see Show you the cover. Excuse the mess of my truck. She's a work in progress. This is cover. No, this is the other cover. Okay, it's this cover right here. This covers. I'm gonna clean this all. That's dusty and dirty, but it goes back on there. And a similar, well, not this exact orientation, but yeah, that goes back on. Boom, like that. Or close enough like that. Get these wires out the way. Put the bolts back in there. And then we'll be done. So if anybody's ever wondering about doing that, you know. Hey, a couple of people I follow on YouTube might have made videos. I made a video of this a long time ago, but just never went and make a video of it. But I did it a long time ago, just didn't make a video. It's just anybody that watches my channel, um, at least you can possibly see this. This may be able to help you out. Next one we'll be working on next is going to be this right here. We'll be changing out the wiper motor because my wiper motor went bad on mine. And this is from the parts truck that I got uh, the parts off of the other day. So. Let me get this truck together because pretty soon this is going to be the daily driver. Also, this interior piece right here, when I got the truck, this is what it looked like. Except for there was a cap right here over top of the uh, HVAC. The FLD, that hammer cross I showed you guys I went to the other day. That one has my pieces I need for here. So I have, this is actually three pieces. This piece right here is going to go in right here. I'll finesse that in there. He broke one of the tabs, but we'll get that to stay up in there. So this is going to go up in there like this. I'm going to get it in there just right. Kind of needs to go downward. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's going to go in like that. I'll just find a way to secure that my way. So put that in like that. This piece right here. Oop, I want to break that. I lose that. This piece right here now bolts in like this you bolt this in like this so boom now we got that together it's going to go in right there so now you have your whole little kick panel area and then this piece right here well this is what our finished product will look like it's going to be together with well, minus that piece will be up so let's just see it's just giving just mark it up so you can see it so this is what it's going to look like when it's done So as you guys see, I mean, I gotta put the screws in there, but it just gives you an idea. It's a little mock-up to show you guys, but yeah. So until next time, I just want to check in. This is how to change out a blower motor on a, actually, I would probably say on all the Freightliner FLDs from the 120 to the 132, which is the classic like this one. That's how you change out the blower motor. Now, if you had this panel in the way that I just showed you guys, this panel's in the way, you just take out whatever screws or torques bits or screws whatever is holding it in which will be all the way along these lines down here that's a bolt to then and then you'll be able to pull that panel off and get right to this so mine was a little bit easier because that panel wasn't there but now i get to well i saved some screws so now i get to have the fun part of getting the correct screws in here so i can bolt my panels up but yep just wanted to show you guys that and until next time trucker real deals over and out